Well, staying in France, at least two people are dead and four others wounded in a shooting in the capital, Paris. Two of those wounded in the shooting are said to be in critical condition. Now, prosecutors say a 69-year-old man has been arrested in connection with the incident. The motive of the gunman remains unclear. An investigation into murder, manslaughter and aggravated violence has been opened. A local Paris mayor saying the shooting took place at the Kurdish Centre. The public has been asked to stay away from the area. The street close to Chateau d'Eau Metro Station has uh, several restaurants and shops as well as the cultural centre. At least one witness says seven to eight shots rang out, causing panic. Ross Cullen uh, joins us live from Paris with more. Uh, Ross, uh, what can you tell us about the situation now? Yes, well, as you can see behind me, the roads are closed all around here. We're in central Paris, just a short walk from the Gare de Nord main uh, railway station. Uh, and they've closed the roads with the firefighters and the police also saying that there will be a news conference uh, very shortly, providing more details. But we do know that man in his uh, 60s has been taken into custody. They do not believe that it is currently an active uh, situation. The police do have control of that uh, situation. They have confirmed at least two people uh, have died and there are four people currently being treated uh, in a hospital. Really just coming before the major movement uh, of the holidays, a lot of people have been uh, blocked and stopped from accessing uh, the bars, restaurants, um, businesses and uh, homes that are all along uh, this, this part, this road here in the centre of Paris. It's the crossroad you can see behind me that has been uh, shut for its entire length while the police obviously have an investigation to carry out, learning more of the motives and to start to piece together uh, the actions behind this crime. All right, appreciate that, uh, Ross Cullen in, in Paris. On that developing shooting situation, we will bring you updates uh, as we get it.